Hello everyone. This video is to show you from the phone screen perspective how to upload assignments into Google Classroom using the Adobe Scan app. The first thing you need to do is you need to locate Adobe Scan and open it, and it will show you what looks like a camera icon or a camera screen. Now, in order to scan your document properly, you don't want to be holding, it in, holding your camera at an angle that's not going to give you a clear picture. You want to be standing over your document with good lighting and you're going to hold steady and it will generally find the margins for you. Now, sometimes you'll get something that's pulled out like that where it didn't pick up the correct margins. All you have to do is tap on that little circle corner icon or the little sidebars to drag it into the area where it looks to be about correct. When you're done, you're going to press continue and this will give you the option to scan more pages. So we're going to tap continue and we're going to scan the second page of this assignment, hold steady, and wait mm -hmm. for it to pick up the margins. Here I can see that the margins are good. I'm happy with them. So I'm going to tap continue again. I'm going to flip my page. I'm going to do my last page of this mm -hmm. assignment. Again, holding the phone steady, waiting for it to pick up the margins. Now I'm going to press continue but instead of taking another picture after I press continue, I'm going to tap that little number three in the bottom corner that shows the three pages that I scanned. And I want to take a look at my scans. Now, a couple things you need to notice. Sometimes when you scan something, it'll come up sideways where your phone would have auto rotated just depending on the angle that you were holding it. So what you want to do in that, if that happens is you're going to tap that rotate button at the bottom of the screen until you get it right side up. Another thing I notice about this scan, because it, this was an assignment that was written in pencil, is that a lot of times the pencil will reflect the light when you go to take the picture and it'll end up being very bright where some of the things are unclear. Now, if I'm checking my scan and I zoom in and I feel like it's unclear, I'm gonna click on the color button at the bottom that's next to rotate and I can take it back to the original color or I can try one of the other options. Now, if the original color is clear, I tap on my document again and that menu disappears. I can zoom in and I can see that the writing is now clear and I can see all of it. Check the other pages, I can zoom in, make sure that everything is visible, that the margins are good. If I'm happy with everything the way it is right now, I'm going to rename my document. So at the top, it named my document Adobe Scan November 19, 2020. I'm going to tap the pencil icon to the right of that so I can give it a new name and it's going to pull up a dialog box that says rename. The next thing I'm going to do is tap the X to clear out that box and tap inside that box to pull up my keyboard. Now, what you want to do is you want to put your child's name and the name of the assignment. So for this one, I will just be having this called student one and this is spelling test 2.5. When I'm done, I'm going to tap the rename button and I can see that it updated the name at the top of my document. Now I want to press the save PDF button in the top right hand corner, that blue button. Once I press save PDF, it's going to take me to a new screen and I'm going to see that my document that I just scanned is the one that's all the way on top. I'm going to press the share button there and press share a copy. Now, once I press share a copy, I'm going to go to the Google Classroom icon. Now, there's two things that you want to check here. The first thing you want to check is the very bottom of the screen where it tells you which student is signed in. You want to make sure that the correct child is signed in. If that is incorrect, you can tap on it and it'll pull up a menu of all of the logins that you have on your device. You can select the correct child at that point. Once you've done that, you want to look at the top of your screen and look at the classroom that's being selected. So right now it says second grade social studies, and this is not a social studies assignment. So I'm going to tap where it says second grade social studies in that blue bar, and I'm going to change it to second grade ELA. Now I know I'm in the correct classroom with the correct student. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tap where it says attached to assignment, and I'm going to find the corresponding assignment in the list. So find the assignment that matches second grade ELA 2.5 spelling test. Once you tap it, it's going to take a few seconds to load your document. At the bottom of the screen where it says your work, you can either slide up or tap. 
and you can see the PDF that you've attached. For this one, it says student one, spelling test 2.5. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. The next thing I want to do is I want to press turn in. So now it's attached it, and I'm pressing turn in to notify my student's teacher that they've completed this assignment. And it'll ask me to confirm if I want to turn it in or resubmit it if it's something that I had already submitted in the past. Once I'm done, this is it. It says turned in at the top. If I want to scan any additional documents, I'm just going to use the back button on my device until I get back into Google Scan. At the bottom, I'll see the blue camera icon. I can tap on there. And then I'll be able to scan additional assignments and pages for other work. If you're done, you can exit out of this area and then your child's assignment would have been submitted. If you have any questions, definitely let your child's teacher know. Otherwise, have a great day. Bye-bye.